Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I'm your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater. And director John Krasinski teams up with Ryan Reynolds to try to make a charming family film. Let's see if he does it. My review of the 2024 fantasy comedy, If, coming up now. B is a 12-year-old girl who's gone through some tough experiences. She lost her mother, and now her father is going to have heart surgery. B stays with her grandmother and starts to see everyone's imaginary friends who have been left behind as their real-life friends have grown up. She meets one of her grandmother's neighbors, Calvin, who can also see the imaginary characters, and the two team up to try and reconnect the imaginary friends, or ifs, with their now grown-up friends. So what did I think of If? I thought it's a charming and sometimes clever fantasy comedy film. It's written and directed by John Krasinski, who's best known for directing A Quiet Place and A Quiet Place Part 2. The film is a live-action, animated hybrid, and the animation looks rather good. The film has a fun premise, and there's some shades of the Toy Story films, Monsters, Inc., and even E.T., and a lot of inspiration from the Cartoon Network show Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, to the point where some have called it a rip-off. You can tell Krasinski is passionate about this project, and while it has heart and can be creative, it's not quite as imaginative as I expected it to be, and there are some ideas that fall a bit flat. The story could have been stronger overall, as it sets up the idea of finding the ifs new human friends or reconnect them with their old ones and just kind of meanders along. There are a few twists thrown in, most of which are obvious for older viewers. There are some well-meaning messages about lost childhood that certainly can make adults reminisce and think of theirs. I like the character design for the ifs, and they're bright, colorful, and fun, but I wish they would have had a bit more depth to them, especially the main ifs that we really don't get to know a whole lot about. While the younger viewers will probably laugh more at the humor, there are some amusing jokes for parents and older audiences as well, including the usual Ryan Reynolds sarcasm. There are some emotional moments throughout, some that could make you tear up, so you might want to keep those tissues handy. While it can pack an emotional punch, there are times when some of these moments feel a bit cheap and manipulating a cry out of the viewers, and for kids, much of the runtime could be depressing. Tina Turner's song, Better Be Good To Me, feels a bit out of place as well. Kaylee Fleming stars as B, the young girl going through a lot that begins to see imaginary friends. Ryan Reynolds as Cal, B's neighbor who's trying to help the ifs out. John Krasinski as Dad, B's dad, preparing for a serious surgery. And a huge voice cast starring Steve Carell as Blue, the large purple monster. Phoebe Waller-Bridge as Blossom, the humanoid butterfly. And everyone from Louis Gossett Jr., Emily Blunt, of course, Sam Rockwell, Bradley Cooper, Matt Damon, all the way to George Clooney. And of course, the current queen of animated voices, Aquafina. It's fun to try to guess which celebrity is voicing each of the ifs. While it's a little schmaltzy, if has some whimsy and is a harmless, family-friendly fantasy film. That's a lot of Fs. Number-wise, I'm going to give If a 6 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of Do It. It's a small do it, mostly for kids, but a do it nonetheless. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Troop A List. And of course, you can follow me on the Instagram and letterboxed at West A List. Until next time. 
troop out.